All right, so let's talk about the state of full stack development. The state of full stack development means what are we doing as full stack people? What can you do? What are my options? Uh, what kind of jobs can I apply? What kind of jobs I, I, don't, I don't know? What can I build and what I cannot build? Um, right now on the world, full stack is going into a rise because the lines are becoming more and more blurred. This means stuff like front-end developer and back-end developer are not separated as much anymore. Usually our front-end guy, he understands what, how databases works and he can kind of do a little bit of stuff and the back-end guy understands how the front-end works so he can actually understand a little bit of maybe JSON or he can understand a little bit of React or he gets a little bit of JavaScript or if he's a Node.js developer, he can just do the whole thing by himself. So the lines are being very blurred and many people don't like that because they're scared of full stack developers. Many people say that we are a myth, that we don't exist, that it's impossible to have full stack developers uh, in 2018 because it's supposedly to be very hard and all that stuff, which I disagree. Um, so there is a state right now. There's a lot of confusion in the world saying we cannot be full stacks and other people like me saying we are already full stacks and whatever. Now, also when you're a full stack developer, what can you do? You can build almost anything that you want. If you, for example, go to GitHub, if you, for example, go to Slack, if you, for example, go to Nomad Academy, you could build all that thing by yourself if you become a full stack programmer, you don't need anybody else. And this means many things. First means that you're independent, but second means that you will know a lot about many, many things, which could be good and could be bad. It could be good if you use it to build products like this one and you can just later get a team. And it could be bad because sometimes companies take advantage of that and you have to do every fucking thing, which is not good sometimes. If you're working for your own product, like me, I love to be full stack because I can take all the decisions, I can move as fast as I can, and I like that. But if I was working in a company and the company is paying me the salary of one programmer, but I'm doing the job of four of them, I wouldn't like that at all. So this is something that we have to keep in mind because in 2018, 2019, the full stack is going on the rise. And now with the power of JavaScript is even more because not only you can do stuff like GitHub, you can also do stuff like real time, for example, on the Slack channel. Also, you can do stuff with React Native, which is uh, making fucking applications. If you wanted to, and if you learn what we're gonna teach here and you become a JavaScript full stack developer, you can also do stuff with Electron. Uh, you can do lots, lots, lots of stuff. These companies use React Native. I think that this already shows a lot. That shows a lot. Uh, Electron JS is to build applications. So for example, you are not only building iOS applications and Android applications, you can also build a stuff like desktop applications for a Mac, desktop applications for Windows, for Linux, for everything, which is something super cool. Uh, five years ago, we couldn't do this. Five years ago, it was very separated. It was either front-end and back-end. They were far away from each other. Right now, the lines are becoming so blurred thanks to React, of course, thanks to JavaScript, but also thanks to, like, no, just thanks to JavaScript and React. Like the technology is becoming just very, very powerful on that sense. So if you learn JavaScript and if you learn uh, React, Vanilla.js and anything like that, and Node.js specifically, you will be able to, le to learn how to do all these things with me or by yourself. Look at the people that use, uh, VS Code is an Electron app. This means VS Code is built on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that's amazing. The Slack desktop app is also built on HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, Hyper, I kinda like Hyper. Uh, I don't know what anything else is. WordPress, I know what that is. Figma, some developers use this. If you have Skype, your Skype application is built on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, GitHub as well. And there are many, many, many more. So it's a very exciting time to be a developer. It's a very exciting time to be a full stack developer because you, your powers are being uh, extended by many, many things. Again, we, don't only, we not only do websites, we do so 
much we can do apps we can do video games we can do desktop we can do mobile we can do websites we can do front end we can do backends we understand databases so that is awesome on the way that you have a lot of options and it's not awesome because sometimes you just want to do everything and you don't focus sometimes you just want to do everything and you you become a beginner on all the all the fields and you never actually go deep on stuff so for example you become a beginner on everything and you never actually really go deep in electron or you actually never make anything complex with react native and that for some people might be something they don't like very exciting times don't let anybody confuse you saying that you cannot be a full stack you always need back end you always need front end that is not true uh not true at all so yes that is the state of full stack in 2018 2019 very exciting very very much see you on the next one bye bye